I am coming to you with probably my favorite iPhone app ever. So let's go ahead and punch on into my iPhone and get an intimate, up-close look as to how Bo Shevisu logs his drives. Well, hello there, Amazon.com. It's me, Bo Shevisu, along with my little friend Splat. She obviously does not look comfortable here, but hey, I'm not here to brag about my cat. I am here to show you my iPhone and this thing. I live by every single one of these apps nearly every single day, especially the Mile IQ app, which you can see on the lower left. Now, I have tested a whole bunch of other apps, and if we were to go into Mileage Tracker in the App Store, you can see so many different options, and I'm not gonna go through all of these ones, I'm just gonna show you the one that works personally for me, which I think there's a reason why Mile IQ is at the very top. So we're gonna go back to the home screen, as you can see again on the lower left, Mile IQ, the little yellow guy, we're gonna click on that, Let's go ahead and break down some of these features. This is a painfully, painfully simple app, sometimes in a frustrating sort of way. Uh, so let's go ahead and I could click on the send June report to my email. And if I wanted to do that, I certainly could, or I could go up into the upper right and I could send uh, actual other reports, generate other months, uh, year to date reports and send them to my personal email box as well. But we're not gonna do that right here. We're gonna go into the very top and you can see all of the drives that I've done. Yes, I do practice what I preach. No, I am not paid by Mile IQ at all. As a matter of fact, I pay them to use this amazing app. As you can see right there, all of the, de the deductions that I'm taking from driving, yes, all of this is nonprofit driving. Uh, well, technically it says business drives, but I run a nonprofit, so this is all charity drives. So yes, all of this dollar amount, all of these dollar amounts that you're seeing on the, the right, you can deduct all of those. So just remember, if you are going to Boy Scouts or if you're going to church, uh, just log those as charity or volunteer driving and you can deduct all of those. Isn't that cool? So we could again send each of these reports, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna go ahead and cancel out of this. And one of the last and greatest features that I have seen, and I haven't really seen this in other apps, but if you go down to the lower left, see that little A? When I click on that, these are auto-classified drives. This has saved me so much time because I have actually turned on the feature that allows me to be tracked um, to locations where I frequently go and it will automatically classify that. So when I open up the app, I don't have to go through and swipe left, swipe right and categorize all these drives, especially when, let's say for example, I just go and pick up my mail at my PO box. It just automatically classifies that. So incredibly handy and it really stacks up really fast. So even though these are less than a dollar, it stacks up to, it classified, as you can see at the top, $144.56 worth of drives. Let's go into, lastly, these settings in the upper left. You can see our drives that we were just on. Monthly summaries, this is what this looks like. We were just here. Again, upper left to access settings. Account settings, fairly simple, as you can see at the top. That's where I'm logged in. Drive detection, The if you, let's say for example, you're in a foreign country on vacation and you don't actually want to be tracking your GPS signal because let's say you're not driving, you just don't want to log any of those, just click on that. And when you click this, it will turn it off temporarily. And you can also choose and automatically resume, which is kind of cool. Uh, my subscription is annual. I, I'm a cheapskate. I hate paying for things, especially when it comes to a subscription type basis, but this is totally, totally worth it. Lastly, when we scroll to the very bottom, these are the last features that you see and uh, fairly straightforward. I have two vehicles, as you can see, mileage rates, et cetera, et cetera. Let's go back to the upper left settings and you can refer a friend and lastly, drive detection. And uh, that's actually what I just showed you. So that is it, isn't it incredibly simple? I would say the only downside to Mile IQ is the fact that you can't actually edit drives until you log into your reports online. And I think that's kind of frustrating. Hopefully in future updates on their app, you can actually go into Drive. Let's say you accidentally swipe left and you meant to swipe right. You can't change that unless you actually go in and edit them about right here. So clicking edit, you can stop this auto classification of this drive 
or you can go right down here and change the actual purpose from, so as you can see right now, it's on business. I can change it to family errand or something like that. But this in fact was accurate. So I've never actually had to go in and do this. Um, but for the future, I would really appreciate if you could edit the drives in the app itself. We are on a drive right now. I have not opened up my Mile IQ app at all. As a matter of fact, it's closed completely, and yet it is still tracking me. I would also like to mention data. Well, if this thing is always tracking you, do you see that little arrow in the upper, upper right, uh, sort of right by the 100% battery life sign? That little arrow means that it's tracking my GPS signal all the time. And at first I was like, I don't want to push this against my data. This is just gonna be annoying. I'll just track it myself. So I did an experiment. For the last seven months, I've actually kept track of how much data it is actually using. So if we click on my data options, and actually go down to all of these apps. So these are all the apps that are using my data. And if we find Mile IQ, check it out. There it is at the very top, 111 megabytes, 15 megabytes per month. That's how much I've been using for Mile IQ. And you saw how much I was actually using this thing. So yes, 15 megabytes is absolutely nothing. Uh, that's what, 20 seconds of a YouTube clip? Uh, that's barely anything. So point being, this is not going to affect your data at all, or if it does, it will do so in a very, very negligible way. Very, very simple, highly recommended. Mile IQ has allowed me to deduct a ton of money from my accountant. My accountant thanks me. I thank Mile IQ, and uh, I hope that you find this helpful as well in determining whether or not this is the right mileage tracking app for you. I would absolutely recommend that you give it a trial run, and I think you will be very, very surprised how easy it is and how much money ultimately that you're gonna save in the long run, even after picking up a subscription and paying for it. Couldn't recommend this more.